What's the joke? Okay, well, let me start with a joke. Yeah, we can hear you. I hate people telling me what to do. <laughs> no, you have a great day. <laughs> a real uh, no, a realtor calls me up. He says, your next door neighbor sold his house for $1.6 million. Are you thinking about selling your house? I said, no, I'm gonna die in my house. He said to me, can I talk to your future widow? <laughs> I never do an, uh, Ancestry.com. Most of my problems are caused by relatives. The last thing I need are more relatives. That was good. We do need to Thank you, fam. Okay. <laughs> A beautiful white-haired grandmother is walking out of the grocery store. She sees three guys breaking into her car. She drops her bags. She reaches into her purse. She fires a warning shot. <sighs> the three guys scramble and run. She gets into her car. She sits down. She looks in the back seat. Sees a skateboard and a case of beer. She realizes this is not her car. <laughs> okay. Here's one great. This is this joke is a really old joke because it was written by the great philosopher Yosella. Yosella who? Lamb, actually, but. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yosella was the great Italian philosopher who never been to Italy in his life. And uh, here we go. A, a merchant closes up his eye. Uh, the shop. He, he locks the door, he's walking down the street, and the woman goes, your shop is open. He goes, I know I locked my shop, and he keeps going down the street and like that. Then all of a sudden, another woman goes, says, your fly is open. So he realizes what the first woman meant, right? So he goes back to the first woman and says, I want to know something. Was a salesman inside or outside the shop? I said no dirty jokes, Randy. Randy, no dirty jokes. Uh, that's not dirty. Okay, then you don't like this one? This one's even older. You might call it even more dirty. Two priests take a bike ride every day at 10 in the morning after morning mass. One day, one of the priests walk in there, get together, and he doesn't have his bike. And so the other priest says, what happened to your bike? He goes, I don't know, someone must have stole it. And he goes, you know, that happened to me two years ago. And I, that Sunday, I did my sermon on the Ten Commandments. And when I got to the point, thou shall not steal, I overemphasized it. So the very next Monday comes, it comes around, and both priests have their bike. And the one priest says, so, so did you do your sermon on... Ten Commandments? He goes, yes. He goes, did you do it on, did you overemphasize the parable, thou shall not steal? He goes, no. You go, what do you mean, no? I never got that far. When I got, got to, thou shall not commit adultery, I remember where I left my bike. Uh, a pre, uh, not a priest, uh, that was the last year. <laughs> a parrot. All the parrot can say, who is it? And this woman forgot. She went to work. She had to run back to the office. And she forgot she had a delivery coming. So a knock comes on the door. Who is it? Skip the dishes. So what does the parrot say? Who is it? Skip the dishes. And this goes on for several minutes. <laughs> and finally the... You know, the uh, delivery guy just got totally frustrated. He goes, skip the dishes, skip the dishes, skip the dishes. Has a heart attack, falls down on the ground and dies. Three hours later, the woman comes home. She goes, oh my God, who is it? The parent says, skip the dishes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, in, in your own. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's dating, I love it. Okay. <laughs> the classics. Thank you. Okay. Oh, we have to. Okay, here's a penguin is driving down the road. 
And also he's seeing blue smoke coming out of his tailpipe. So he pulls over the first service station he sees. You know, he brings his car in and he sees the, you know, the mechanic. And the mechanic goes, can you give me, uh, he goes, I'll tell you what, come back in 10 minutes. I'm just finishing this one customer. Then I'll diagnose your problem. I'll let you know what's going on. So the penguin uh, sees uh, Starbucks in the same plaza. So he goes into the Starbucks and he, and he orders up a drink, you know? Give me, give me a smoky butterscotch frappuccino. So they, they give him his drink and he just turns around and he runs into another customer and the coffee goes everywhere. Spilled all over him. He's disgusted. He goes back to the uh, mechanic. Mechanic is working on his car. He sticks his head, head from up under the hood and goes, it looks like you blew a seal. <laughs> and the guy says, no, 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 I swear, I just spilled some coffee. <laughs> that was good. Cool. Breaking news. This is tragic. This is terrible. The first main, man space mission to Mars was just annihilated. It blew up into over a million and three pieces. The cause of the accident is not known at this moment. But Captain Fantastic uh, of the spaceship, uh, spaceship One, some famous last words were, what does this button do? <laughs> now let's send it over to the weather Polar Vortex. Uh, Alberta Clipper is coming right for us. With high winds over 200 kilometers an hour. But, won't, won't, blah, 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 but it won't be here for two weeks because it's being held up for uh, self-quarantine at the Ontario border. Thank you, that's it for me.